Okay, so now we're going to try to demonstrate the use of a trailer in an arsonist. Um, how they would use it to move fire from one location of the house to another location. In this case, uh, what I'm learning here is you need a solid surface. Obviously, if you had hardwood, a carpet, the flammable liquid that you use might soak into the material and that might not get it going as much. Um, in this case, we have concrete. So, you know, obviously, choose a slab floor uh, if, if that was the choice. So we're going to use household acetone, and then we're going to have our kindling, which is just a balled up paper towel and tissue, all household products that are available that as an investigator you might not suspect right away, but you know this is uh, just an example of what, what can be used. So we're going to pour a quick little trailer here right to our kindling, and our ignition source will be an open flame device or match. In which case, you know, the arsonist will want to take with them or, or burn up in the fire, so there's no obviously uh, ignition source. So open flame device, flammable liquid trailer to kindling, and then our hopes is this will be involved enough or a secondary fuel would become involved in the house. As you can see, it's going to burn off rather clean. It was a quick little uh, burn trailer right to our secondary fuel. The problem with this is that you have to do a very long trailer if you wanted to get out of the house in time um, before our actual secondary fire got going. So you're going to have witnesses that might see this. Well, oftentimes, the arsonists might not know what they're doing. Um, they would have burns to their, their hands or face in the process. And again, as we pour water and extinguish this fire here, you can see it's a very effective use of a trailer, i.e. a flammable liquid, and again, acetone being a very household common product.